Hey everyone, we are here at Disney's Hollywood Studios and welcome to Thrill Geek Live, episode number two. I'm Barry. I'm Emily. That it's Emily. Yeah, I'm the co-host of the Thrill Geek Podcast. Emily's a writer for thrillgeek.com. And we're here to talk about Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It's right back there. We it's, just can't it's, go it's, in it's, yet. It's, it's somewhere back there. Unfortunately. We'll walk over there in a minute. We'll climb the wall. Um, yesterday, we got some costume news. Um, they had a thing at, at Disneyland and let, let all the uh, some of the cast members see the costumes. And then at 12.01 tonight, or last... La this morning. This morning. Yes, I can't speak. It's okay. uh, 12.01 this morning... They just bunch, decided to say everything. Yeah, a bunch of news outlets revealed that they had been given a secret tour of uh, Galaxy's Edge out in Disneyland in California, and we got ride information, we got food information, we got merchandise. Drinks. Drinks. All alcoholic drinks. and non-alcoholic. So, let's uh, start walking and heading towards Galaxy's Edge, and uh, so people can stop looking at us going, what are they doing? We're going in the Muppets. What are they doing? Um, let's start with rides. Uh, I think that's the thing everybody wants to know the most about is what's going on with the rides there. And we got a bunch of details on both Rise of the Resistance and uh, the Millennium Falcon ride. Oh no, I'm too short. Yes, you're too short. <laughs> I'll walk on I've my got my toes. arm out here. Um, so. Rise of the Resistance. Um, the best ride that's ever going to be made in the history of the world. I mean, we already knew going in that this was going to be what may be one of the best Disney rides ever Literally, created. Literally, probably the best ride um, ever. You know, a lot of people asked them about the, was it going to be 28 minutes long? And they were like, no, but based on the... But I think it's a long pre-show. Yeah, based I on I don't the, think it's a long ride. I think it's a long pre-show, which will just make a, you know... I think, the whole, I think the whole experience is, based on what they told us, it seems like the whole experience has got to be, what, 20, at least 20 minutes or more. Well, I think, yeah, I think when someone's like, the ride is going to be 28 minutes, I think the whole experience is going to be 28 minutes. That's excluding, like, your wait time, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But from, you know, when you're supposed to start actually experiencing the ride, aka the pre-show, up to the point where you leave the ride, I think it's supposed to be 28 minutes. So. Yeah, and you you got a sense that um, you know it's going to start where you're sort of starting in where the rebel encampment because there's going to be sort of like three areas. Well, I I don't know if it's true, but true. I heard that there's like different ride systems. Yeah. So like you have to get off or something at some point. Yeah, I and think... like change vehicles. And I'm sorry, but that's mind blowing <laughs> and awesome, and I can't wait. Yeah, I mean it's like yeah, I think you start you go through the tunnels that they've the rebel well, resistance, resistance rebels have created. Yeah. And that's the queue, and then like pa fast pass and uh, standby merge. And next thing you know, you're being put onto a transport. Yeah. This is the pre-show. We haven't yeah. even gotten to the ride. Not yet. even sitting down. Or... <laughs> you're being yeah. You're you're basically loaded like a troop carrier, yeah. and you take off. And there's apparently going to be an animatronic in well, there. Well, that's the other thing that I'm super excited about about actually this ride is that it's not going to be like screens. It's actually said to be animatronics that there's going to be, you know, actual sets you're moving through, like a dark ride, and then, you know, there'll probably be, like, a few screens, but I Yeah, and, and it's like, I think you get, uh, you're captured by the First Order, and next thing you know, you're unloaded in a giant Star Destroyer hangar, and oh God. everybody's description of this... I'm probably gonna cry. ...is, is like, it's... A, a Star Destroyer hangar. There's TIE Fighters hanging up in the air. There's stormtroopers there. There's the big giant, you know, basically space out out yeah. in, in the distance. And, you you know, you're going to be herded into an interrogation room. And then next thing you know, you're herded onto another vehicle. I think you might have an encounter with Kylo Ren. Oh my God. And next thing you know, finally, but like actual you're Kylo on the Ren ride. Or like animatronic Kylo Ren. I imagine it. I wonder because if it's that, animatronic Kylo Ren, I'm gonna cry and scream at the same time. I'm wondering. So. See, that's the thing I wonder about the first part where you're in the interrogation room, which is like before you get. But I on think the it ride. might be, and I know it's like blasphemy for saying this, but it might be like a Fast and the Furious situation. I hope not. Where, well, not like horrible <laughs> ride, yeah. but that there's you know like two pre-shows where you're actually encountering human beings, 
and then go into something that's like artificial, quote unquote, with yeah. you know animatronics and screens and whatnot. And the interesting thing too, the costumes that the cast members have to wear for this. Oh my god, they're going to be want dressed. They, you, I want to buy them. Once you get into the hangar, they're going to be officers of the first order in there, and. I, I've, I've heard rumors that the cast members for, especially Rise of the Res Resistance, are going to be asked to do, play in a way that they've never been But see, played. that's like, what I'm so excited for about Galaxy's Edge 2 is that it's like a role-playing experience, it's like an RPG, so... Yeah, we the haven't even gotten into that part. To, yeah, the fact that, like, even the rides are incorporating, you know, the fact that you get to experience everything and you're not just sitting on a ride, going in the ride and leaving the ride, like, it's all encompassing this entire land and that of course is a huge part of it but I don't know I'm just really excited yeah I mean it, it looks amazing and that's where in the articles all the tours ended at the interrogation mm -hmm. room and that's not even that's it. yeah a huge chunk of the ride <laughs> you haven't got yeah. to the ride part the physical moving so basically we know first part is pre-show but you're getting on a transport then you're captured you're in a star destroyer hangar then you're taken to an interrogation room and then the robot ride begins yeah. and it's so, going to be beautiful and you're going to love it that's rise of the resistance and we're going to turn around here because so behind us see. is one of the entrances to galaxy's edge here and uh the falcon the falcon it's it's sort of uh it's, bright. it's a little bright oh, see if we go that way then then that's now right. you can see it's it but there. let's bring it back to us um, we yeah, might want to turn. It's so bright. Let's go over here. It's so bright. Um, yeah, let's turn. Yeah. But uh. And swivel, pivot, pivot. Pivot, pivot, pivot. 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 Okay, here we go. No. <laughs> um, the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's ride. Run. I'm just gonna call it the Millennium Falcon ride. It's called Smuggler's Run, but don't listen to Barry. Yes. Um, you're going on the Millennium Falcon, and it's. The pre-show is on the Millennium Falcon for what we can like say. Like pretty much is everything the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. It's awesome. I mean, that just sounds amazing. And unlike Star Tours, you, your actions will actually affect. You'll complete the rest of, yeah. yeah. You'll complete the mission. They've said, yes, you, you won't like explode and, and stuff like that. But Which would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> However. That would be pretty cool. But you'll complete the mission, but your actions affect everything else everything else galaxy's edge yeah which is uh, they mentioned the role-playing elements um which also tie into both the rides any food place that you go to anything basically in galaxy's edge and then also if you ever stay at the star wars hotel as well yeah it's sort of up to you how much you want to participate in the uh in in the totally. role-playing yes i will buy we, costumes i don't care because you know we have the there there's elements of the Disney Play app that will come into effect when you step into Gal when you cross yes. this gateway, step into Galaxy's Edge, and actually it will change to a more Star Wars oriented thing um, when you're in Galaxy's Edge. So it, apparently there's going to be like Bluetooth stuff, Bluetooth things throughout that they're they're using Bluetooth throughout Galaxy's Edge. Somebody that, says as long as I shoot lasers. Yeah. <laughs> Me. <laughs> pew pew. Pew pew. But uh, you'll be able to, uh, there'll be different things you'll be able to interact with throughout Galaxy's Edge. Um, so, and the other thing with Millennium Falcon, the Smuggler's Run, is animatronics. We're going to talk about yes. animatronics again. Hondu. Yes, I saw that. Who, if you've seen Clone Wars, the Star Wars Clone Wars TV show, and Rebels, mm -hmm. he's a smuggler. And part of uh, with, with Smuggler's Run is you're going on a mission for him. He... He's, uh, Chewie has let him borrow the Millennium Falcon, <laughs> and uh, he is going to be in animatronic form, I guess part of the pre-show, or in the queue, um, for Smuggler's Run, and from what we've been told, according to a couple of different articles, he will be the second most sophisticated animatronic yeah. at Disney World. Obviously. There is, I want to say there's a video somewhere out there, either a video or pictures. I haven't clicked on the video link if there is one. I believe I just, there is a video. But it shows like actually full motion of it and I'm very excited. Yeah, I mean he he's part of the new, he's one of the next generation uh, animatronics that I think started around 2009, I think yeah. first with Abraham Lincoln's head mm -hmm. um, and course the shaman over at uh, avatar is she is the most sophisticated so cool 
animatronic here at uh, Walt Disney World. Hondu will be the second most. Yeah. Um, and he will be one of many animatronics in yeah. Galaxy's Edge. Well, that's even just any theme park thing at this point. I'm just so glad we're actually getting animatronics now instead of having everything to be like screens and everything like that. It's just, it's so nice. I like robots. Give me robots. Yeah, and, and I guess we saw some pictures the, of the actual cockpit and also walking in. I mean, you're literally going to walk through the Falcon to the cockpit and the ride starts. I mean, that's 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 crazy. So that's and the, you get to push buttons. Yes. So and you get to and you get to and the co-pilot gets to pull the lever to go to light speed. And everyone and their family <laughs> will fight to death to be the co-pilot. I know so. it's going to be interesting to see. It, I would love I've to be a fly. I've had friends on. tell me like, no, I'm going to be the co-pilot, and it's going to be like you're going to wait in like a separate seven-hour <laughs> line just to be the co-pilot. I know it's it's going to be interesting to see people. Uh, I'm just like, let me sit anywhere. I don't that. care. I just want to go on the ride. Yeah, I just want to be there for it. I'd rather be shooting the TIE Fighters anyway. I'd but. rather do anything. I just want to be in there, so. But, uh, but I think that's a, that's that's about all They we... really didn't say too much about Star Yeah, Wars, it's, so. it's, it's, that's about it so far that we've learned so far. Yeah. That's the rides. <laughs> Let's get into um, Galaxy's Edge itself, the planet Batu, Black Spire Outpost. We sort of talked about it earlier. They're sort of considering that, that it's divided into three sections. There's the smuggler section, there's the resistance encampment, and then there's the first order's uh, like outpost. Or... I'm gonna be hanging out in the first order outpost. Yeah, it's so, it's so. That's where you can find me. That's uh, the, the, they sort of just yeah. Bad. Already getting tongue tied. <laughs> sort of described how it's separated into different sections. Um, Let's talk about... Someone's like screaming bloody I, murder in yeah. the Muppets section and I'm scared. They, it looks Someone like they're help. mad that the Muppets isn't open right now. I actually made that noise earlier, so... <laughs> but, uh, food. I'm actually on the fence about the food only because I'm like the pickiest person on the planet. So it's hard for me to justify any like food offering that doesn't look like chicken strips and fries. But that's just me because I'm the worst. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's... I'll try stuff. Much like uh, Pandora, there's going to be some unique food items here. And but that's I'm, a lie because I love all the Pandora stuff, so. I mean, I it's, it's, it's it. regular stuff. I mean, there's, there's what? There's like a chicken, yeah, like, it, I can read it if you want. Uh, there is, a, maybe I can't because I can't pronounce it, a fried Pandorian tip, tip yip. yip. <laughs> Um, which is basically chicken and vegetables and yub, herb yub. gravy. <laughs> oh my god, if that's it, I'm going to cry. Um, Ithorian Garden Loaf, which is plant-based meatloaf served with roasted, uh, I almost said garlic, vegetable mash, seasonal vegetables, and mushroom sauce. Um, smoked ribs with country sticky pork ribs with blueberry corn muffin, that's interesting, and cabbage slaw. Um, we're actually getting popcorn. Specialty we're pretending popcorn. that we're Tokyo Disneyland, <laughs> and we're actually getting different types of flavored popcorn. Um, which have savory, spicy, and sweet flavors. They don't really specify what those are, but I guess it's for something that you can try out. Um, they have oven roasted burra fish, which is a Dijon crusted fish mixed with greens, roasted vegetables, quinoa, and pumpkin seeds. So they definitely have a lot of healthier options, which is good. But let's get to the drinks. You mean the drinks that they didn't list anything that's in them and just their names? But the, the name, uh, yeah, go ahead. I want to hear her try to pronounce some of the names. Some Please of the don't do this to me. I'm very nice to you. Oh god. Fatro and Moof juice. I, You know what? I'm just more interested in like hanging out with y'all and just trying to like go to the bar and be like, excuse me, can I have the Moof juice? juice. Yes, um, Moof juice. I can say this one. Carbon Freeze, um, Cantina Mix, Cliff Dweller. Those are non-alcoholic beverages. Um, Alcoholic though. The alcoholic ones are the Outer Rim, Bespin Fizz, Yum Num, Fuzzy Tauntaun, and that's it actually for alcoholic beverages. I want it. I just don't know what's in it. And I'm scared to wait in the very long line that tells me everything that's in it. So. Yeah, I mean, this, what they've announced so far looks and sounds pretty cool. Um, there's going to be was it multiple food food places there's uh uga's cantina that's the main that's which the has one. like the main food i don't know if that's sit down though. 
Yeah. I don't know if that's sit down or like grab and go. Um, yeah, they didn't have really said what sit down. They haven't specified. Um, there's Docking Bay Seven Food, which most likely is going to be uh, grab and go. Um, there's Ronto Roasters, which is um, juice, turkey jerky, and a Ronto wrap, which is a spicy grilled sausage and roasted pork. So most likely grab and go. Yeah. And then, oh God. And then there's the milk stand, which sells gotta blue and green blue, milk. Gotta get your blue and green milk, which probably won't actually be milk. But probably it. not. <laughs> and then the last is Kat Saka's Kettle, um, which doo -doo -doo has the sweet, savory, and spicy popcorn. And that's it. So that's uh, some of the food. You can go to thrillgeek.com to uh, get some... Uh, hey, let's walk. Let's walk over Exercise here. Exercise is good. And uh, so that's some of the food. I am excited. Um, Star Wars food. Star Wars. I mean, if you haven't figured out, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. You're a... I'm, I'm a really big Star Wars fan. <laughs> like, extremely. Like, the fact that my parents almost named me Leia. It's a problem. So, so I'm just gonna stand here with the Millennium Falcon in the background. But uh, food, merchandise. I I feel like they're going sort of the Harry Potter route. With, I mean, with some of the costumes. I saw like well, I saw the costumes, which I want, but also at the same time, I'm like, it's gonna be really expensive. Uh, two, there's a lot of plushes, so like Porgs, just different animals, which almost reminds me of like the Harry Potter. I don't know what it's called. The Harry Potter creature shop that they have in Diagon Alley. Mm -hmm. um, forget what else. Like I know there's gonna be like t-shirts and t-shirts, um, and... all kinds of different. Oh, you can create your own lightsaber. Yeah, that's a big. That's one. a thing. Except I thought we already had that, but I think it's a little bit more. I think it's supposed to be a little they're bit more real, higher end. And you can hurt people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think they're supposed to be a little bit more higher end. Same thing. They're bringing the droid. The droid. The droid. Yeah, the make your own droid. Make thing. your own droid thing, but a little bit more higher end. Everything that's in Star Wars Galaxy, you can only get in Star yeah. Wars Galaxy's Edge. That's Which one is of the super big cool things. because all this merchandise and all the food are the same at Disneyland and Walt Disney World. So if you're going to either of them, it doesn't matter which park you're going to. You can get the same exact stuff either or. If you go to both, that's great because they're going to be both awesome. But don't feel like you're missing out if you're only going to either the West Coast or the East Coast because you'll be able to get everything that you want and spend all your money at Disney. So um, we've talked merchandise, we've talked food. Also, if you want to learn more about the merchandise, go to thrillgeek.com. We have an article all about the merchandise. Costumes. This is the area where, I mean, when we first saw these but, I, but see, this is the thing what I think when everyone's like, they're going to sell costumes. How much are they going to get away with? Because, you know, costumes are technically not allowed in the park. That's, that's Especially what I'm when you are above the age of seven years old. So they but there's even, adult There's, there's adult, adult costumes, costumes, which I don't know if there's going to be, like, if you buy the Galaxy's Edge specific costumes, if you're allowed to wear them. But then I feel like, like other Harry people Potter. are going to try to come in, like, dress as Darth Vader. And then be like, hey, I'm sorry, you can't come in here. But then there's going to be like a conflict and it's going to get messy. Yeah, I But yeah, you can't dress up like as Harry Potter in Harry Potter world. Yeah, I, w I, wonder, I wonder if they're going to do sort of like how Universal does with the robes. Or Maybe, yeah. Or if you're in yeah. school outfits, if you're dressed in Jedi I think if robes. it's something that you bought physically in Galaxy's Edge, you're going to be okay. Like, I don't think it's going to really affect you. I don't think they're going to try to kick you out or anything like that. I don't know. Let's hope not, but cast member costumes i think oh it's my the god they're so nice looking <laughs> except they're gonna sweat to death and die they are impressive i i you know we have Walt disney world has some cast members some attractions have pretty impressive costumes of course haunted mansion you know my dream yeah if i want if i was a cast member working in attractions i would want to have work at i haunted want mansion. one shift at mansion just and then one i shift. can quit and go <laughs> home just keep the costume um the costumes are unlike any we've ever seen for cast members but it's, before. Yeah, it's, I just think it's, I was talking to my boyfriend about it earlier, it's just so cool because it's like you're in a Star Wars movie. It's not like, hi, my name is Emily, I'm here to assist you on the ride. Like, you feel like you're in Star Wars, you look like you're in Star Wars the entire time. Like, it's really going to be hard to differentiate where you are in, you know, Orlando, Florida to you know, Galaxy's Edge. So, and I think it's going to be so immersive like Diagon Alley or and the neat thing is they're able to mix and match pieces to their costumes. Which technically there are some cast member costumes that already allow yeah. that. But I think there's going to be more like accessories, hats, stuff like that that they can mix and match. 
throughout their costumes. Yeah. But they can, um, sorry to cut you off, um, but there was um, a thing that was posted, at least that I saw, that they can, you know, pick what top they want to wear and what, like, bottoms they want to wear, and they can switch it out, I want to say, between, like, five different outfits. Yeah, it's five, it's, it was five or seven different Yeah, like, which is cool, because even if, you know, another cast member in, like, Toy Story or something, they can wear, like, a different accessory, but they can't completely change their outfit, like Galaxy's Edge can. Yeah, and I think, except for Rise of the Resistance, they have their own specific outfits. The cast members are either going to be members of the First Order or members of the Resistance. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, but the cast members you encounter in Galaxy's Edge, everyone's going to look different. Yeah, yeah. they'll have it. They even have special Star Wars They're so cool. specific name tags. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's going to be pretty amazing. I try not to get too overly hyped about stuff. Oh no, like if there isn't a camera on me right now and we're having a normal conversation, I'd be like bouncing up and down. I'm so excited for Galaxy's Edge. Like it's just, I don't know. Like I was like this when Diagon Alley opened because I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd. So the fact that like my other big thing that I love is also getting like the love and recognition and like our immersive land. Like, yeah, I like pretty much am on vibrate mode right now. So. So, um. We're going to start walking again, and, yeah. you know, all this, we know here, Disneyland is supposed to open... Sometime in summer? Sometime in summer, allegedly June. Bob yeah. Iger's just going to be like, come in, guys. Yeah, I mean, in here, it's late fall 20, this year, and... Uh, it's probably going to be, like, winter. Which could be up until December 19th, so... It probably will. <laughs> so, um, we're excited. Obviously, this is just the beginning of all the information that's going to come out about Galaxy's Edge. Which, I mean, this is like a huge break in news about Galaxy's Edge. Like, I don't think we were expecting this much. And big thanks to Clint for getting all that up there. Because yeah. that man works hard. So, so uh, I think that we're going to call it. That's it from uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios tonight. Thank you for watching Thrill Geek Live. Um, Emily, where can they find you on the uh, On the interwebs. Um, so I have my own YouTube channel. It is called Geek Notice. I am on the Twitters. I'm on the YouTubes. I'm on the Instagram. Just look it up. Um, we'll post like a link to it or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's where you can find me. And then I write for Throw Geek. So I write like food stuff because I'm a huge foodie. Don't judge me. And we'll be seeing and hearing more from Emily. Yeah. Coming up stuff. for a while now. Say. We're like friends or something. Yes. I'm at Culture and Thrills on Twitter and Instagram. Go follow him. And if you want to see me, I'm on the Thrill Geek YouTube channel. Follow along. Uh, we have uh, Thrill Geek Adventures where uh, myself, my wife, Sin, or Clint, or Clint's family, we're going to different, doing different things. We just recently went to Tokyo. So there's a whole Tokyo Disney Resort playlist on our I'm YouTube still channel. Jealous. Yes. And I keep bringing it up, and everybody's getting it's tired. Of hear, everybody's I'm getting tired. I'm still just gonna be jealous it. until the second I go, and then I'll be like, "Can't bear it." But uh, remember, at Thrill Geek on Twitter and Instagram, right here, it's Facebook.com/ThrillGeek. Make sure you like and follow us, and tell your friends to like and follow. Do us. it. And YouTube.com/ThrillGeek, where we have all kinds of videos up. We have a bunch of Star Wars videos up, actually, of the current Star Wars stuff going on here. The guided tour you can do, the dessert party. Star Wars A Galactic Spectacular, all on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash thrillgeek. And remember, for the latest in theme park and pop culture news, visit thrillgeek.com, where we have all the articles about all the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge news that was put out in the last couple of days. All, actually, well, all of it. All the Literally Galaxy's Edge news. Literally all of it. <laughs> remember, listen to the Thrill Geek Podcast. I'm the co-host of the Thrill Geek Podcast, along with Clint. And this week, we, this coming week's podcast, we will be talking about Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. All so. Star Wars. So all Star Wars all the time. Most of the time it's all HHN all the time, but which is totally fine. <laughs> yes. However, yes. Can we not? Can we not get a get a Halloween Horror Nights announcement? Even though we got we got a, a Universal, a Harry Potter announcement, the Dark Arts show, the nighttime show. That'll I'm be still coming. like on vibrate mode about that too. Yeah. Like I mean, it. Like Clint messaged me that, and I was like, oh my god, thank you. So I, I just want to mentors in the park. That's all I yes. want. Yes. So that's good. That's coming to Universal sometime here soon. So from Disney's Hollywood Studios here at Walt Disney World, thanks for watching Thrill Geek Live, and we'll see you in the parks. Bye. Bye.